It was quite a busy week uh, for the final week of Parliament. Uh, also uh, announced was the uh, federal government's proposed foreign donation laws, which uh, under this, uh, these proposed laws, all foreign donations will be banned not just from political parties, but also from uh, political campaigning. And it'll also be, there'll be a new offence to make it illegal to undermine the, the national interest through the political process. And there will also be a, a foreign interest registry for lobbyists who um, are acting on behalf of foreign governments. Now, the uh, Turnbull government, they're obviously uh, wanting to uh, target uh, people like Sam Dasty Ari, who actually uh, uh, took a personal uh, donation from uh, an entity associated with the, the Chinese uh, government to pay his uh, travel expenses, which uh, got him sacked from the Labour front bench the first time. And they also want to target uh, groups uh, such as Get Up, who do receive some funding from uh, overseas. Now, uh, obviously, you know, especially in this day and age, uh, people are, uh, Australians are very worried about, you know, foreign uh, governments and agents, you know, trying to influence Australian uh, policy. But it's, you know, for, for me, like, uh, you know, do uh, political donations, they're, they're, they're free speech, uh, uh, I believe, because, and, you know, you're really, like, it's, they say they're going to target, you know, any organisation that engages in political campaigns. That's pretty much uh, opens the door that, you know, even, like, charities, if they express a view, you know, about a public policy issue, are they going to be, you know, audited to see if they have, you know, a, any foreign, you know, contributions? It, it really, you know, could really, uh, you know, undermine, you know, a lot of... Um, you know, community uh, activism and community work in Australia? I think the right is very uh, divided on this issue, to be honest. I, I think you have your more liberal libertarian types that are very, uh, um, I guess they see it as a free speech issue, that people should be able to uh, donate where they like and, and have no sort of uh, um, regulation in place to, to, to limit that. And then you've got your more uh, nationalistic uh, types that, um, like the left, would uh, be um, for banning such influence because I, I guess the way they would say it is that once you allow um, big um, multinationals or, or, or people with a lot of money uh, to buy influence, um, a lot of corruption could then therefore take place. And our politicians, um, especially in the Sam Dastyari case, I think that's really um, a scary thing because, I mean, he is, dealing with a communist country and um, basically um, was getting involved in something that he had no business getting involved in, in the South China Sea debate, and then was telling them, oh, look, you know, let's talk outside, you know, we don't want this recorded. It, it was just, it was unbelievable that uh, somebody can get away with such a thing. I mean, imagine if somebody on the right did uh, did such a thing you know i mean they'll be long gone and, and shorten sacks him from the uh, the ministry but he's already sacked him a couple of times from the ministry he'll give him a rest break and then he'll put him back on there uh, rather than actually getting rid of him altogether he's he he has no idea he's very 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 much a loose cannon and um he, he seems like he thinks his his uh position is a, is somewhat uh, mafia like and that he, he can and go um, to, to different business people and, and sort of, you know, pull strings and control things. Uh, I think he, he doesn't really understand what his, uh, what his job entails as a politician in representing uh, people in his electorate and in his country. I mean, to deal with a, a communist country like China and nobody says anything, I mean, you could only imagine if, um, if um, someone on the right was doing the same in Russia, you know? I mean, what, what, what kind of... Uh, I mean, obviously, you, you see the, the issues brought up with um, the Russia and, and the Trump situation. And, I mean, you know, Im imagine someone, someone on the right going to Russia and doing the same thing. How, how big of a story it would be. Oh, well, somebody from the right has been uh, caught up in this uh, uh, foreign donation 
uh, crackdown, and that's former Trade Minister Andrew Robb, who is now uh, a lobbyist uh, for a um, Chinese-aligned uh, company. And uh, I, I think they've, mm -hmm. they, they've tried, the Turnbull government, they've tried to, you know, ma ma make it clear that, you know, this is not, you know, we just want to get Sam Dastyari and get up. They've also said, you know, if we, you know, if Andrew Robb, you know, he should be put on this foreign you know, interest registry as well, you know, we have, you know, going to show him uh, no favouritism and he's been uh, quite, you know, pissed off about that and, you know, saying how, how dare you, you know, call me a, a traitor. Um, I, you know, like, like I said, like, you know, f not all, you know, foreign donations, are, I, I think if they are, you know, f you know, being funnelled by a foreign government, that is mm -hmm. definitely... Uh, problematic, but you know, say if it's you know just a uh, you know company which you know operates in Australia and has um, you know uh, 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 you know uh, operations in Australia, and you know mm -hmm. they're they're mm -hmm. they're you know obviously you know employing Australian people, you know got Australian managers. Uh, I think I think that's a bit different from you know a um, you know an entity which is you know wanting to you know uh, actually you know, of going, of denigrate Australia's public policy in favour of a, mm -hmm. a foreign government. I think that's a, you know, really uh, different, different case. Yeah, yeah, it, it definitely um, is. When, when it comes to politics, it, it's such much a, so much of a greater uh, situation here. And, and like I said, I mean, the fact that it's a communist country, I mean, you, you, you just, you just think to yourself, I mean, it, it's just really crazy. Like, I mean, um, it, it seems like a, a, a very big double standard here. Like, I mean, obviously we haven't got any countries that, that are outright uh, fascist ones, but I mean, you can only hypothetically, you know, think of, of the different kind of reaction it would be. But, um, you know, to, to deal with a, a country like China in such a manner is, is um, disgraceful. It's really uh, uh, foolish on his behalf. And it, it seems like he's untouchable, a bit of an endangered species because in the Labor Party he's so protected um, seeing as he's uh, uh, backed Shorten and, and basically been one of the, the main guys to put him in his place in the first place, Shorten knows not to remove him because he he was the one who put him in there, you know. So but that's how politics works, unfortunately. Um, within a gov uh, within a company, sorry, um, it, it is different. But uh, again, you do have a bit of a divide on the right with your um, with your liberal types and your more populist types, see, because. Uh, Things have really changed over um, over the the coming years with the the rise of uh, nationalist type of politics, and um, these people um, don't want any foreign ownership or uh, or influence from overseas countries at all, whereas um, uh, liberal minded people do. So it's it's um, definitely the dynamics of the political spectrum and um, ideologies. They're they're really starting to shift around a little bit, and. Um, I think uh, within parties, there's going to be splits, divides. You see the Liberal parties. I mean, it's 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 really split on on many issues. That, that you've got you know two dominant ideologies that um, in many ways contradict each other on a lot of issues. Um, Labor Party, not not as much, but um, again, you know, you will get a situation where. Um, um, I mean, look at it in the Greens. You've got you've got the Tories and the and the communists, um, the communist party uh, party um, section of of the and and I mean they sacked around and not long ago. See, so you, you've got these splits in the parties over such issues. Um, it's it's really affecting affecting how uh, how things uh, the dynamics of the spectrum and and how things are really. I definitely think that the the Dastyari case is you know uh, different because. You know, he has, you know, I've, as we've found out, openly tried to undermine Australia's national interest. I mean, there was that story in the Daily Telegraph that he'd, uh, during Senate estimates, uh, asked Australian defence officials uh, no less than 115 times about the uh, the South China Sea. And yes, like tipping off the um, uh, the Chinese businessman, uh, Wang Zengmo, that, you know, his phone was being bugged by Asia. I mean, that is, you know, cl uh, pre pretty close to, um, you know, uh, f uh, you know uh, tre uh, treasonous behaviour. That I mean, uh, Yeah. And, and so it, it definitely is, you know, uh, Dastyari, uh, he, you know, he hasn't just 
uh, accepted money. He's, you know, acted against, you know, Australia's interests and gone against our, uh, you know, what our security agencies are advising. And it's, um, you know, and, and obviously, you know, Bill Shorten, he said that, you know, Dastyari's uh, career is going nowhere fast. Uh, well, mm, you know, mm. you wonder when he, uh, when Shorten will uh, try and uh, speed up his uh, career again. But you know, certainly, <laughs> um, at, le uh, at least the the coalition, they're not going to let this go. And have referred, you know, Dastyari to the, the the privileges committee. You know, I don't think we need a you know a crackdown on you know donations. Period. Yeah. Uh, I think yeah. we just need to, yeah, like I said, make make sure that you know, behavior such as, you know, Desiari, there needs to be, you know, some sort of crackdown on, you know, actions such as that. Well, Desiari, like all politicians, only act in their own interests. Um, and that, that's how it works. So, uh, I mean, um, yeah, he's been caught out, but uh, hasn't, hasn't really had any tough punishments over it. So, I mean, back in 2009, we thought Turnbull was done and dusted and now he's Prime Minister. So, I mean, you know... Give it a few years and, you know, they'll think people all forgotten and, you know, everything's nice and dandy. I mean, who knows? I mean, if, if Shorten becomes Prime Minister or even if there's a change in leadership, Sam, da, Sam Dastyari, uh, he, he might end up being uh, a minister again or even, you know, like um, in a high position. So um, I can definitely not rule out that he's going to um, all of a sudden, you know, uh, have the... Uh, you know, the, by principle, say, oh, you know, I've done the wrong thing, thing and I should remove myself from the parliament. That's definitely not going to happen. So I think we're going to be seeing a lot more from him. MPs from both houses uh, had to lodge their uh, citizenship declarations. And so now we have Labour MPs, uh, Josh Wilson, Justine Key, David Feeney, Susan Lamb, along with uh, Senator Katie Gallagher, are referred to the High Court. And also uh, Nick Xenophon team uh, MP Rebecca Sharkey has also uh, been referred to the High Court. Now Labour and the crossbench uh, in the lower house tried to move that Liberal MPs uh, Julia Banks, Jason Flinsky, Alex Hawke, and Nola Marino be also referred to the High Court. And uh, the uh, the government, uh, they were lucky that uh, Barnaby Joyce's uh, re-election uh, uh, to New England was exhilarated. He uh, was able to return uh, to the Parliament on uh, Wednesday, only a few days after the by-election. So they had the numbers on the floor of the Parliament again. And this has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.